Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Housing affordability in my region, in the Puget Sound region, is at the lowest level since 2010 and getting worse. The medium home price in King County is 64.5% higher than it was five years ago, while wages have only risen 25%. And this trend is getting worse due to a growing population, land constraints, and infrastructure that definitely, need, definitely needs updating to keep up. Families are struggling to have a safe place to raise their kids and put down roots. This overall lack of affordable housing is making our homelessness crisis much worse. We have people living on our streets in tent cities with public health risks and living conditions that simply should not exist in our country. Yet the Republican tax reform plan would worsen the state of affordable housing by eliminating tax-exempt private activity bonds and missing this opportunity to expand the low-income housing tax credit. According to the Washington State Housing Finance Commission, 2,088 affordable apartments that would house over 4,000 people in six counties across my state that are currently planned for the next two years would not be built without private activity bonds. By eliminating tax-exempt private activity bonds, this bill is going to prevent 2,088 families earning less than 60% of median income in their area from renting housing that they can afford. Private activity bonds have helped build more than 76,000 apartments across the state of Washington and over 46,000 home loans for first time home buyers. And yet my colleagues simply want to eliminate um, this for, to pay for massive corporate tax cuts. That's why my amendment reinstates private activity bonds. Without multifamily revenue bonds, almost half of the low-income housing tax credit program nationwide will disappear. And with it, thousands of jobs and millions of dollars for local economies, not to mention much needed housing. So my amendment would also expand the low-income housing tax credit an idea that is bipartisan right here in this committee and being led by Chairman Hatch in the Senate. By making 50% more credits available, we could make as many as 400,000 more affordable housing units available over the next 10 years. These policies support seniors, loans for beginning farmers to buy their first acres, Nonprofit facilities like YMCAs and museums, all of which we finance by issuing private activity bonds. My constituents and people across the country are struggling to afford a safe place to live. Cutting these critical lifelines is unconscionable, and I urge my colleagues to support this amendment. Mr. Neal, you recognize strike the line.